Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Idea Next. This is their dual HD wireless IP camera. You can check this camera out on Amazon at the time of this video for $44.99, which is an excellent price for this particular camera, in my opinion. Uh, as always, I will have that link in the description below where you guys can check it out. Now, going around the box, they give you, you know, a bunch of different uh, icons, but they don't really give you too much else as far as specs go. Uh, it does have IR built into it, so you can do night shooting with this. Uh, it is Wi-Fi connected. There is a micro SD card slot in here that will take up the 64 gigabyte cards for recording uh, action, you know, anything that, you know, movement, uh, that type of thing. It will rec record clips uh, that way. Uh, you will also have a speaker in this as well. You've got it working with iOS and Android, and there's a PC client that you can get on their website. Now, if you want to get the client for your phone or device, you can get it on Google Play or the App Store by just going uh, to the, you know, clicking on this or scanning, I should say, the QR codes here and it will take you. Or you can just search for uh, the actual app, which is called the NetCam app. So let's get this guy open and show you what comes in the box. Here is the camera, nice and lightweight. As you can see on the back, uh, you've got some mounting uh, holes here for if you want to mount this to a wall or something like that. Uh, on the back, you also have some speakers here and a reset hole in case you need to. Now, the name of the camera is going to be Wi-Fi camera until you rename it, and it does have its own unique ID. Uh, so you've got that there. Uh, nice base on this, by the way, and you can angle it in a, a bunch of different angles to get whatever angle you want to. On the top, you have your micro SD card slot here as well uh, so that you can, um, you know, put in some memory to, uh, you know, uh, when it detects motion, you can actually save those video clips and that type of thing or saving video clips directly to the camera. Now, it does have that micro uh, USB slot down here. Uh, and as you can see, there's not much room between the joint and actual input. So you need a right angle uh, micro USB cable, they give you a nice long one, uh, but you're going to need one of those. So if you do break their cable, you're going to have to find one that is a right angle connector because uh, the straight ones just don't have enough room to go in here. Give you this little uh, SIM card removal tool type thing uh, to hit that reset button. If you need to reset it, uh, you can do that. Uh, they give you a bunch of literature here. If you want to check them out, you can check them out at www.ideanextpro.com. Uh, so they give you a bunch of ways, you know, their email, everything to uh, get in touch with them for after sale service. So that shows that they're willing to take care of you as a customer. Uh, you get a uh, 18 month uh, warranty on the product and you get a 30 uh, day money back guarantee on the product as well. Now in the bottom of the box, they give us one more little box here that has some mounting hardware in it. And I'll get that out. You have a 5 volt 2 uh, uh, amp AC to wall adapter on this so for plugging in. So I'm going to plug that in down here. And then you get your wall screws. If you want to mount it to the wall, you can do that. And then here is that right angle micro USB cable that I was talking about. And it's really long and very nice as far as the cable goes. So here's that connector, you know, regular USB to micro USB at a 90 degree angle. And what we're going to do is we are going to insert that here. And as you can see, it has to be right angle because there's just not enough space to do a full uh, straight angle on this. So very simple and easy to hook this up. Uh, and I will plug it in because it takes a second to boot the camera up, maybe about 30 seconds to fully boot it up once it's connected to power. So we will do that right now. And as far as the installation guide goes, I'm going to be doing most of that for you right now. Again, they'll give you a place to go if you want a PC client. Uh, so you can check this out for your PC. Uh, iOS and Android, again, you can scan for those. Uh, and then we'll just do the actual setup here. Uh, and I'll show you guys what I like and what I don't like here. So hold on to that just in case. Welcome to you. Now it says... It says, welcome to use, please connect, and the red light at the top will be flashing, saying that we need to connect this to our Wi-Fi. What you're going to use is this NetCam app here, uh, and uh, we will launch it, and I'm doing this on my Android phone here. And you'll come up to a screen that says add device. Now, it's going to default to say Wi-Fi camera device type. If you need to set up your Wi-Fi, which is the first thing I do, uh, you can put in a, a different password. The default admin password is blank. Uh, and you'll hit Wi-Fi configuration, and it's either doorbell, battery camera, or camera. I'm going to do camera and hit next, and then I'm going to put in my Wi-Fi name, 
which is this Galaxy Tech Review is the name of my 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Uh, I have not tested it on 5 gigahertz just in case. Uh, and then you put in your Wi-Fi password, which I've already done previously, but this is just going to start configuration. And now it's going to look on the LAN for the camera. It only takes about 15 seconds. And it's a connection start. And then we'll just wait for and now my camera is connected and there it is with its unique ID. So we are all set there. Uh, so we are paired and now you see you have a solid light here. So we should be good. I should just be able, if I want now, if I want to change the password, I can. Device type is camera. It's all set up. Uh, so now I'm done and I'm online. And of course, the last picture is me videotaping this reveal. So we will go to it. Now this does a resolution of, it's an odd resolution, it's a 960p resolution, it's 1280 by 960p. Uh, it looks really good, obviously it's going to be a little bit better than 720p, and it does an excellent job. As you can see, uh, there's a little tiny bit of delay, but not much at all uh, running through Wi-Fi, so they did a good job here. Now uh, the actual, there's a couple different things we can do here. We can swipe over and if you have multiple cameras, uh, you can select uh, other cameras and see them in a split view. Uh, if you don't want to do that, uh, or only have one camera like I do, uh, then you're fine and you can just leave it in the default mode. Now this little uh, uh, thing comes up saying that you, do, you have your default name and password. If you want to change it, you can, so it'll let you know. And if you want to go into settings, you can check out the device uh, information like the firmware, the name, the DID, the MAC address, the Wi-Fi MAC and your Wi-Fi status, um, your Wi-Fi settings again, uh, you know, uh, your user settings, you can set your password uh, and make administrator or users or operators. Uh, so they did a really good job on this, your SD card settings, uh, mail settings if you want to send mail when it gets motion alerts, uh, you know, that type of thing, uh, your LED settings. Uh, for the indicator LED if you want that red light to be on or off. So they did a really good job on the app. It works very well uh, and I have no problems with it. Uh, so, you know, they did a great job. Uh, you know, you're, you can feedback, you can check out the system settings, you can do background push notifications, your alarm sounds, um, you know, all of that is set up in here and it all works really well. It hasn't really crashed on me or anything like that. So, again, great picture. Uh, I think uh, Idea Next did a really good job on this. This camera goes for $44.99, which is an excellent deal for this camera. Uh, you can do night shooting on it. it. It takes up to a 64 gigabyte card in it to do local storage. Uh, so they did an awesome job. Now here, whoops, here is a couple of different things you can do as well. Um, there is no tilt and pan on this one, so these uh, really won't work as far as panning and tilting. Uh, you know, it does it in the application probably because they use Netcam for other uh, actual cameras. Uh, but you can, you know, obviously, you can, you know, obviously activate, and I'll turn that off, your two-way, uh, you know, if I speak into my phone, you're going to hear it, uh, you know, or it'll take the sound from the camera and spit it out on whatever device you're using. So you've got that as well. If I want to take pictures, I can take pictures, I can take video locally, uh, I think, yep, I can take a video locally. And of course it wants at least a 10 second video, so I have to kind of wait for that. Okay, that's great. Still making me wait. But anyway, as you can see, you can take pictures, take video, you can uh, hear, turn your audio on and off because it has a microphone as well, so you'll be able to hear what's going on in the view of the camera. So they did an excellent job on this. Uh, the Again, I don't have any problems with the uh, setup. The actual camera itself is nice quality. The uh, app is very well written and works very well. And the price is, is, is an awesome price, 44 bucks. Uh, this is a decent camera for $44. The fact that you can uh, mount this to the wall if you want to, or it's got a nice flexible base that will sit anywhere in your house. Uh, overall, I'm definitely giving this a double thumbs up from Idea Next. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. If you have any questions or comments about this IP camera, please leave them in the comment section below. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. That always helps. And I'll check you guys out on the next video.